Kaufman County recovery efforts are still underway tonight following last weekend's flash flooding. Yeah, it actually led to two lives being lost there and dozens of people had to evacuate their homes. Tonight, we're hearing from at least one family that is still out of their home. They can't go back and they're telling our Aaron Jones that they're hoping they get some help soon. Last weekend, more than 10 inches of rain fell in a matter of hours. It was up to the bottom of that window right there, you see. George Hinkle's home still flooded, his family relying on the community to get by. We don't know how long emotionally we can handle having to wait for this water to go down. While he does have insurance, he says there's a problem. The insurance can't come in here and adjust until the waters are down. He explains the home or barn dominium backs up to Kings Creek Reservoir. The relief that I'm looking for, I don't understand why I can't get it. Why I can't get the flood waters. One pump, one diesel operated pump on the other side of that reservoir. I've contacted the people that manage the reservoir and they say that they can't put anything, the reservoir's doing exactly like it should, that I should have never been able to purchase this property. Kaufman County Emergency Management Coordinator Steve Howie says the home was built in a flood easement without their knowledge. He says the county is doing what they can to help, but the issue is the Texas Soil and Water Conservation District's responsibility. He points out putting up a pump would not only be very expensive, but set up alone could take two to three days. Every day that I march out there is harder and harder on me. Hinkle still remaining hopeful something can be done. In Kaufman, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.